there's a kitty right here. You can't you can't see the kitty, but there's a kitty. I'm petting the kitty. The kitty's purring away. Oh. Hello, it's me again. I'm Ben Harvey, aka Rabbit Squirrel, and I'm here to tell you about a new Lime Rider community that you might be interested in joining. If you've seen the video essay I made a year and a half ago, you might remember that there was a Discord server that was plugged at the end of that video, and if you followed the link, you might have noticed that it was shut down about a month after it was created. The reason it shut down so quickly and so abruptly, honestly, could be a whole separate video, and it might be soon, but for now I'll just talk about how this new space is different. See, what I really need in the world of Line Rider is a space where I can be myself. A space where I don't have to worry about people twisting my words and trying to argue with a version of me that doesn't exist. Um, a space where I'm not constantly at odds with people about my views on Line Rider as an art form. Um, a space where I don't have to worry about people misgendering me. Um, a space where no one's gonna, like, barge in and try to undermine the community. Um, and, like, a space where I don't have to guess whether anyone's trolling me or not, and a space where everyone's just... I can trust everyone to just be, like, kind and considerate and honest. <laughs> and also where I can, like, hang out with other people who are artists who are also interested in Line Rider, and we can, like, work on stuff together and, like, hang out and, like, talk about what each other's working on and give feedback and stuff. Like, that. that's all important, too. And unfortunately right now, at least for me, none of this is really true about the existing Line Rider community, and it wouldn't be true about any Line Rider community space that was open to everyone. The details and the justification of why I don't feel comfortable in the existing Line Rider community, and why I wouldn't feel comfortable in another open community, well, that could be a whole nother video essay too, but for now I'll just say it doesn't feel like home, and I don't enjoy hanging out with most of the people in the Line Rider community, and we'll leave it at that. So, in essence, this space is different because I'm only letting in people who I'm personally interested in having in the space. Fortunately, I'm not the only person in the Line Rider community with these issues. And this is also an issue with internet spaces in general, and so there's a very good chance that if you're watching this video, this might be a space you would like too. See, this Discord server has actually already existed for the last nine months or so. I've just been inviting people I already know on an individual basis. All that's happening now is I'm announcing its existence to the world because I want people to know it exists. And so hopefully by announcing it, we can find more people out there like us to join us. So how do you know if you should join? Well, first you have to be a nice person. Sounds like a low bar, but well, have you seen the internet lately? I'm not kidding. What this boils down to for me is that if you're told that something you're doing is making someone else feel uncomfortable, you're able to modify that behavior to help the space feel more enjoyable for everyone. Next, you should be some kind of artist or art enthusiast, and I mean that in the broadest possible way. We have music producers, programmers, animators, painters, and more. You don't need to be a professional artist or to be getting an art degree, though that's awesome if either of those are true, but mostly I'm just looking for people who create some form of art somewhat regularly. Third, while you don't have to be a line writer creator yourself, and we do talk about plenty of stuff that's unrelated to line writer, it's still a line writer focused space, so you should definitely be at least interested in checking out what everyone else is making in line writer. And finally, a lot of the people in this space are queer and trans in some way, including myself, and so while you don't have to be either of those things to join, of course, being accepting and affirming and basically knowledgeable is really important. So if you're watching this and feeling like it sounds like a nice place, there's a link to a form you can fill out in the description. There's a lot of questions, but basically all of them are optional, so just fill out whatever you like and leave blank whatever you don't want to answer. I'm not really interested in having a huge group of people in this space, just enough to feel like you can hang out and chat about art and line writer with friends, so I'll be reaching out to people individually, one at a time to chat, and that can take some time, so if I do reach out to you, it just might be a bit before I get to it. Also feel free to share the link to the forum with people you know who might be interested. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm sorry the uploads on this channel have been so sparse for the last year and a half. Trying to figure out what I needed in the Line Rider community and how to get there is a big reason for the long radio silence, as I've realized that one of the biggest factors affecting my motivation is how at home I feel in the community spaces I spend time in. And I know that if I cultivate a space that feels comfy and fun for me, it'll be a lot easier to find motivation to work on projects like these video essays, because it's really fun to hang out with friends on Discord while you work. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video, and hopefully that will not be long in coming. Yeah. Yeah, it was a good kid.